2013 America East Men's and Women's Cross Country Championships will be hosted by Binghamton University on Saturday, November 2nd. And let's talk to Binghamton head coach Annette Acuff. Coach, you guys are hosting the championship this weekend. What does it mean for Binghamton to be hosting the 2013 championship? Well, I think it means a lot for the university, the athletic department, and our program to have the opportunity to host. Um, we're certainly really excited about it. I know both of our teams are really excited. Our administration is excited. So, you know, we're just trying to you know, keep our fingers crossed for, for some good weather. I think our course is pretty unique uh, just in the sheer fact that, you know, the first mile is pretty much going uphill. So, you know, the, the runners certainly get a challenge um, the first mile and, in, you know, kind of testing themselves with you know, how much they can kind of, you know, exert energy-wise. Five different teams have won the men's cross-country championship over the last five seasons. It's been a very balanced league. How hard is it to compete in the America East on the men's side? Well, I think every year, you know, um, there's different challenges, you know, for each program. I mean, certainly every program, I think, is trying to keep, you know, their teams uh, healthy every year. And um, that, that always seems to be the biggest challenge, I think, for every program. Um, I think it's it's really pretty neat that there's been, you know, five different teams that have won, you know, over the last five years. Um, you know, we're certainly, you know, excited about, you know, you know, possibly having an opportunity this year, you know, on the on the men's side. Um, you know, so, you know, it's it, I think it's exciting for everyone. I think, you know, anything can happen at a championship. And that's the that's the reason why, you know, we certainly are going to race on Saturday. And, um, you know, but I, there's a lot of great programs um, in the conference this year and you know I think it'll be a battle. How do you prepare your team throughout the season and then getting ready this week for the championship? Well you know I, I really just try and keep my team pretty relaxed. I mean I think you know try and not treat this week any different than any other week during the season. I think that's really important. I think um, you know the kids have you know high expectations you know already as, as it is going into the championship and um, you know, we just try and make sure that, you know, we can kind of stay on top of everyone, making sure everyone's, you know, um, staying healthy. Um, you know, we're just kind of taking care of the little things, making sure we're getting good rest, eating well, um, you know, and that, you know, our kids are relaxed and, and certainly, um, you know, focused, though, with, um, you know, what they need to do, um, you know, during the, during the race, you know, certainly being able to execute properly is, is very important. Everyone has to kind of show up and race that day, and anything can happen. So, you know, over the years, you, you obviously see um, a lot of kids step up, a lot of programs step up. Um, you know, it's an America East Championship, so I think you're going to see some great racing out there. Thanks a lot for joining us today, Coach, and good luck on Saturday. Now let's turn our attention to the reigning America East men's and women's cross-country champions, the Stony Brook Seawolves, and we'll bring in head coach Andy Ronan. Coach? The women's team has won six straight titles heading into this championship. What's the mentality of the team heading into this weekend? Uh, every year is different going, going into conference championship, uh, even though we, you know, we've been the defending champion for the last uh, six years. Uh, it's different. We usually have different personnel. and, and uh, So the process starts like uh, at the end of the academic year in May, and uh, we build towards this moment. Uh, we're four days from conference. Like every other team, we've had our ups and downs this fall with sickness and injury. Uh, but at this stage, I feel we're, you know, I feel confident that we're as ready as we can be. Uh, it's going to be a tough challenge on Saturday. Uh, we're up against a very well-coached New Hampshire team, a uh, strong squad from Albany and uh, Vermont. But um, I feel that we had our last quality workout this morning, and I feel good. Everyone came away from it feeling good, feeling positive, and. The main thing is that once the gun goes on Saturday, uh, we compete and everyone finishes the race, feel like they've given it 100% an honest effort. And if that's good enough to, to retain our, our championship, then that'll be exciting. If we get beat, we're not gonna get beat, beat ourselves. Uh, the other teams are gonna have to come out and uh, take care of business. The men's team won its first championship in program history last season. There's been a lot more parity on the men's side. How have they been preparing for this championship? Absolutely different scenario for the guys for the first time, the defending champions. Um, but I feel that uh, we've talked a lot about it over the, over the course of the fall and, and, and during the summer. Uh, I feel that they're ready to handle that part of it. Um, the bigger issue for us this fall has been trying to get everyone healthy. Um, Saturday will actually be the first time we'll actually have the full squad on the line. But again, I feel that they understand what's on the line for them, what they have to do to compete, and I think we're ready. 
Thanks so much, Coach, for joining us today, and good luck this weekend. The 2013 America East Championship takes place on Saturday, November 2nd at Binghamton University. Be sure to check back at AmericaEast.com and visit Championship Central for all the latest times and standings, as well as highlights from this weekend's championship.